Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Minecraft Season 2. So I'm just crafting up a uh, machine block. Oh, Totally not using the project table as it needs to be used because these are used to make the induction furnaces. So I'm gonna make two electric furnaces and uh, let's see that's gonna be two of these and I'm gonna need to make like so and of course we need to have some more refined iron where did I put the there it is I need to have um, for the electric furnace I need to have two. Well, one for each. We're gonna need to make some more cables. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh well. Yeah, I suppose it'll work. So, 12 of these, and uh, where are my refined iron blocks? There we go. Two electronic circuits, and that on each side, and the iron furnace. Oh, it's the other way around. There we go. Why not? Oh, I need to have... Okay, the electric furnaces and then just the advanced machine block and copper around it. So it's going to be like that, like that, and there. And we have two induction furnaces. Awesome. I've been crafting up the induction furnace, the macerator. I don't think I have the rotary macerator, no. So we're going to have to live without that one for now. I am going to try and get that mod, but I don't know if it's been updated yet, so... Um, we're also gonna need an extractor and uh, what I need to use for that one is an extractor is just machine block and electronic circuit so let's cook nine of these and we can steal the overclockers so this is a bit faster there we go I haven't crafted up, as I said in the last episode, the windmills yet, uh, mostly because I haven't really spent that much time on it. So let's see, I need one of these. But we'll do that at some point in this episode, I think. And a machine block. Ouch. Now let's get some of this wood so we can make four tree taps. One, two, three. Oh, two, three, four. Awesome. So we place that one in the machine lock and the four tree taps. And we have the extractor. Awesome. Now we actually have the machines. So let's head down and place them where they should be. I haven't built this one yet, so I will knock this down. Because I'm not sure what I want to use here just yet. Maybe another extractor. Who knows? So, extractor. It's not powered yet, don't worry. We'll get to that. That would be the macerators. And our furnaces will go in here. Now I could actually try this by sending let's see. If I take some copper ore and put it in there and switch this on. The copper ore is pulled out 
it gets colored red, it goes up there. Okay, I might not actually need this piping underneath here that much then. But it gets sent down into here and down into the first available. Oh, wait. It should be black, shouldn't it? Yes. Black. <laughs> My bad. Okay, let's try that again. It gets pulled out, sent to black one, which will be one of the macerators. And goes into the first one. Now, this one is full. Let's try what happens if I pick up some iron and some tin and some silver and dump this into there. It all gets pulled out, as it should. And it does not fit in the first, but it does in the second, third and fourth. Awesome. Now, this won't pull anything out since, uh, yeah, the machines are not powered yet. But yeah. It works pretty well, so let's switch it off. And I will start building the energy room, I think. One or the other, I'm not sure. Yeah, we need to make uh, the water mills and uh, figure out how to do that with Buildcraft. Uh, no, not Buildcraft. I keep saying Buildcraft when it's red power, I mean. So I'll grab some of the stuff and um, start digging a bit. So I'll be right back. And here I am crafting up a couple of generators. Five of them, to be exact. Because we want to make the water mills. So we're gonna need um, a bunch of wooden sticks. Let's actually grab a bit more wood here because I will need it. So let's see. Okay, that should do. And we can split these into sticks. Like so. I will want to use the project table for this. Um, we put the sticks around there. The generator in the middle. And... Uh, wood. We'll use this one along the edges. So we can grab... 10 water mills. I've prepared up a retriever, a filter, and a deployer, as well as the water mills. We have one water bucket. I'm gonna need one more to start the infinite water source. So I have dug out this area here. These blocks here will be for uh, the MFE and the transformers. But let's place down our water mills. Brilliant. So these, if I put a water bucket in there, they will... Um, they will... Uh, they will start generating power. It's not so much, but... With this system, it will work very well. So with the deployer that I have here, facing that way, and this filter here, pulling out water buckets. I'm going to have to get more of these. Um, I will also need this retriever there. And we dig out that as well. At least I think this works. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and see. I need to pick up some more of these. Where did I put them? I could just take the whole stack of these. 
Only really need one though, but because I don't want that one to connect. So if I put that there, these won't connect. Awesome. Now let's make the infinite water source. There we go. Now this deployer here. Hmm, hold on. I wonder if this works actually. No, it doesn't. We have to do it like this. We'll put this one there, and the retriever will have to go there. Like so. Okay, so the filter will pull out water buckets and the retriever will grab buckets. We need to get some uh, signal to these as well, plus power. Huh, that's gonna be tricky. But we have power under here, don't we? Yes, we do. So if I run the power along here and to there. Right, be right back once I have the necessary cabling. Alright, so this is how I'm gonna do it. I have a timer here set for one second. It will activate the filter and the retriever and the deployer. Now all I should need to do is to get a bunch of buckets. I can make these out of tin as well as iron. So I have a lot more tin ore than I have iron, so let's make uh, 10 buckets. There we go. No, oh, it didn't have space for the last one. And the moment I put these in here, they should get pulled out, actually. Oh, wrong tool. There we go. And these are pulled out, and if we duck down here, these will go into the different machines. And this has a full water bucket. Same for this one. And it will start generating energy. I don't know how how this actually works. Huh. Do you have to put the buckets above? No. No, you can't. So that's uh, where it should be placed, okay? So the more of these buckets, the better these will run. So I will have to grab a bunch more. Okay, now we need to make a bunch of cables and a bunch of, well, two MFEs and two uh, transformers. So I'll craft these up off camera, but I will have to use uh, the transmutation table because I'm gonna need a bunch of diamonds and I only have six. I'm thinking I'm gonna use a couple of these. Uh, or maybe gold. No, I'll, I'll use the gems. They're easier to come by. So, about half of these. That should be plenty enough. So, I'll put these in there and uh, do that. Yeah, you can see I can get a diamond from that. So, hmm. Oh, the last one there. No, oh, there. So now I have four diamonds. If I grab a few more sapphires. I'll just burn that for 
diamonds. And I have 8 diamonds. That should be enough for the MFEs. And I will also need quite a lot of them for... Uh, for... for the fiber... glass fiber cable, so... I'm gonna use the silver ones to get as much as possible out of every diamond. So I'll be back once I've crafted this up. And this is an expensive recipe. I actually almost ran out of uh, redstone, so my total redstone right now is... three. So I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time mining <laughs> to get this back. Uh, I haven't crafted up the... all the neat little fiber optic cable. I'll leave one diamond. Uh, I don't really want to use gold for diamond, but I don't think I have a choice right now. I'm gonna need more of them, so... But for now, let's uh, do this. That's... 24 glass fiber cable. Let's see how far I get with this. The reason I use that is um, I don't want to use a chain of battery boxes, really. Okay, so the MFE, the first one, will go there. The reason I have two is that um, I can store up quite a lot of energy that way. And now you see it's charging up, as well as this one. And these ones are running perfect. So I'm going to have to make a bunch of more buckets. And let's say two for each, so a bunch of more. Um, now this will be the transformer, so this can be just a normal cable of... Uh, it has to be gold, so <laughs> let's not make that mistake. And now if I want to make a transformer, it's going to be one of these. I will need copper, copper cable, and wood. So... I'm running low on copper as well. Well. Not really, but let's grab two. And now output should be down on these. Because I want to have the fiber optic cabling to go from here. So this way I'm gonna need a bunch more. Let me see if this uh, little set of machines get any energy now. No? Huh. No, that could be because I haven't plugged this in. No explosions? Um, doesn't look like they're getting energy. Maybe I need to put that one like so. You're right. <laughs> then we have it. I always forget how these work. So I'm gonna need a few more cables. So I'm gonna have to use gold for diamonds, I suppose. Do not like that, but. Oh, is there a generator in there? Huh. I'll save it for a later. Um, I still have glass. But let's um, transmute all this gold into diamonds. And we can save one. We have to save one.
and silver ingots. Ran out of glass. Oh well. Gives me one more diamond to work with. That was costly. Oh well. Now, this needs to have power like there, and there, and there. Are these guys getting energy? Yes, they are, but they're not heating up. Huh. Oh yeah. One of these will have much lower energy before the other one, so I'm going to have to step this up a bit. Um, I can put in two more mills. That's easy enough. The good thing with this is it's very easy and quick to expand. I just put down the tubes and go craft myself my water mills. I'm gonna need to have some more sticks for that. Not 64, but oh well. And I had a generator. Perfect! So the generator, the sticks around like that, and we have two more water mills. It's probably not gonna be enough and I probably want to have to expand this more but this should now get buckets eventually and speaking of buckets I need to make a bunch more let's make I don't know, five, ten I'm gonna macerate a bunch more tin, but for now I'm just gonna leave it at the amount that I really need. So let's make uh, 12. 12 should do. And let's cook it up. Perfect. Four more buckets. It's not really a lot more, but it will help. And I could probably lower this to 750. One second should be enough. How are the MFEs looking now? 60,000, 11,000. So now they're really gaining energy. Perfect. Although these are not enabled yet, so... Let's put a redstone torch behind here. They should both get the redstone signal from each other, I hope. Oh. And they should start heating up. Just for the sake of it, I'll put something in for it to work with. 2% heat, and this one is not gaining any heat. Hmm. I thought they talked to each other. Might be wrong with that, but... No, they don't. So, what if I... Hmm. That's not gonna work.
I do it like this then. Um, I'll have to. Hmm. I don't have the dust, so I'll just make one. Well, a pair. Just that I can make three redstone tubes. Hopefully this will work as I think it does. Yes, it does. And I need to have the red paint again. Perfect. That one is heating up and that one should be heating up now. Eventually. Hmm. Very odd. Also, we need to fi fix this up because I managed to break that. Um, should be doable if I do this. And that. Can't put it there. Hmm. That's gonna be a bit tricky. I need to figure this out, so I'll be right back. Alright, I ended up moving the induction furnace over because that way I could put a redstone torch and some red wiring behind there. And they're now heating up fine. Perfect. Now, this is actually ready to take a spin. So let's try this. I just checked the colors on these. Um, yeah, this one isn't ready yet, but it's running, and that one is running. Perfect. So I'm gonna close this up, and this as well. I want to have some sort of indicator that it's running at some point. Probably. Um, uh, a red. Hmm. I could probably make a red lamp. It's not too difficult to make, but yeah. Um, this one is not running. Let's grab some tin, copper, and iron. Tin, copper, iron. And dump it in there. And if everything goes as planned, this get pulled out, get tagged with black, and get sent into the macerators. It's not the fastest way to sort items. I mean, the one I used with logistics pipes is a fair deal faster, but at the same time, this is a bit cooler as well. Now, let's see what happens when this one is done. And the iron is pulled out and sent along. The red should be coming up here. Yes, it is. With a red tag. And these should be enough to handle all the incoming materials. And it's smelted up, gets tagged with yellow, and I should see it come up here any moment. See some yellow, and there would be the ingots coming up. Awesome guys, this is really cool. Perfect, so now I can just dump in all these in there. However, it doesn't know what to do with iron dust, so I will have to smelt that one manually. 
This one should be heating up all the way up to 100% soon as well, so... And this didn't fit, so it will try... And then we'll go back. And when there is space, it will be sent back. Really, really, really cool. I'm liking this. I could probably close this up using some of these. Oh. Should have some more in the digger's backpack. Yep, I do. Oh. There we go. It's still pulsing. And, um. It has energy, and it's working fairly well. This one is ticking on, and this one is ticking as well. This one is actually getting most of the energy, but should that one become full, this one will fill up. Awesome. All I need to do now is make a bunch of uh, these overclocker upgrades. I had a bit of an ugly crash, so it doesn't like when you mouse wheel the overclocker upgrades. So let's not do that. But I'll put one in each of these. Perfect. Now this electric furnace and this macerator will really not be that important, but let's switch this one off for a moment. I have tin and I need one iron, that's tin, that's copper, and I will need gold eventually. Uh, I want to make that one into red, so that if I put any macerated stuff in there, it will know what to do. Okay, now we can switch this on again. Because I have this. Okay. Now, redstone dust, glowstone nickelite, and the covalence dusts. Should get a tube for themselves as well. So should gems. I'm gonna work on setting up so that each of these gets sorted correctly, and I'll be back once uh, I have at least some of these set up. Actually, I realized that I might actually be almost up to time, and uh, it will require a lot of paint. So I am going to end this episode here. I think. I think we've accomplished quite some with this sorting system. Uh, for now it only does the automatic smelting and stuff like that, but soon we will be able to expand and uh, make it work with all these. As you also can see, I've got a fair deal of cold coke and plenty of creosote oil. So in the next episode, now that I have this done, I am going to start working on a couple of forestry items. We are going to make uh, a tree farm and um, maybe a wheat farm. We'll see. These two work quite well together. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a yeah, in episode 10. Yeah, episode 10. See you next time. Bye-bye.